Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So after 15 awesome years on our beloved show Supernatural, the best show ever, Jared Padalecki moved on to his next adventure almost immediately after finishing filming Supernatural series finale. Just over two months after the finale aired, we got the series premiere of his new show, Walker, a remake of the original Walker Texas Ranger by Chuck Norris. I watched the original Walker a bit growing up and enjoyed it as it was, a silly action show but was never really a big fan of it like I was with other shows, so I had no attachment to it. I wasn't particularly looking forward to a remake of it, but I was looking forward to see what Jared does next after playing our beloved Sam Winchester for so long. And I already knew from reading interviews and all of that that it will be more family focused than action. I really wanted to support him by covering the show and wanted to like Walker. Unfortunately after watching just the first 3 episodes, I'm already very disappointed by it. My video will go in details on all the issues I have with Walker, which are shared by a lot of fellow fans and critics from the overall mixed but what seems to be mostly negative perception to the show despite the very good viewing ratings for the first three episodes, which I believe will wear off slowly after all the hype, if the show doesn't improve soon. Despite that, the show has already been renewed for season two, an earlier renewal by CW among many other shows, that just shows their faith and trust in Jared, as admirable as that is, I personally just don't like the show, which I'll go about in details in this video. Before getting into my issues with Walker, I'd like to state this disclaimer that my views on Walker have nothing to do with Supernatural or the original Walker. I judge the new Walker solely based on its own merits, or lack thereof in this case, without comparing it overall to either the original Walker or to Supernatural. Of course, some comparisons can still be made between specific elements of the shows that has nothing to do with the genre or the story, but only when it is logical and relevant to point out specific issues with the show rather than forming a general judgment of its quality. A lot of Jared fans falsely represent any criticism of Walker as stemming from such comparisons. That is completely false, so that being clarified, let's get right into the video. The first major issue I had with Walker came way before the premiere aired, something I learned about from all the casting news. There's just too many characters which lacks focus on any particular one, it's just all over the place. And that's an issue I had with later seasons of Supernatural that I always criticize that when a show doesn't focus on the two bros, the core of the show, it just seems like uh, it's very distracting and it's not very good storytelling. And that show was at its best when it focused on the bros, that great chemistry between J2, that lightning in a bottle, as the CW boss called it, the chemistry between J2 and the relationship between the bros Sam and Dean. So jumping into the new show, that issue is very prevalent. Again, too many characters, little to no focus. And I made a poll comparing the number of main cast in Supernatural vs Walker. I made a point that more does not equal better. It is actually the opposite. Less is more, especially in that case. I got a lot of hate for that and other criticism I had of the show from Jerry Padalecki fans that I will be addressing towards the end of the video. A related issue to all those characters is that just none of them are really likable or compelling so far, at least to me. It's just I don't care about them. I don't particularly like any of them. Mainly just Walker just a little bit, but not even that much, to be honest. So it's really hard to feel invested in a show with that many characters, especially when you don't particularly like any of them. The next issue I'd like to talk about is the big event that started the series. In the premiere, the death of Emily, Walker's wife, only 5 minutes or less than 5 minutes into the episode. We haven't really known Emily, we haven't gotten attached to her, so audience lacks emotional attachment to her, we didn't really feel anything when she died, at least speaking for myself a lot of other fans. And the writers and showrunners depend on flashbacks to flesh out that character later, which I think is very lazy and very boring form of storytelling not particularly that interesting or compelling. So that's a big issue right off the bat at the beginning of the show. It's just you don't feel attached to any of the characters or the event that changed their lives. The next major issue I'd like to talk about that a lot of fans have voiced complaints about is the very slow pace of the show, especially in the first couple of episodes. It got a little better, I would say, in the third one but still not much to be that interesting. It's just a lot happening at once, too many characters, obviously main reason for that. So you get a new scene every couple of minutes or so. 
a lot of dialogue, not enough time to focus or explore any particular character, event or overall storyline. It just seems jumpy and all over the place, editing wise, directing wise, story wise. You just don't feel that invested in any particular character or storyline, at least again, speaking of myself and all of other fans. The next issue I would like to touch on quick, entertainment should just stay the way it is, just fun, entertainment. Unfortunately Walker has too much force politics, particularly identity politics, especially by his partner, has nothing to do with the main storyline. Politics should be left out of entertainment completely, and should just stay as it is, something to enjoy, something to be invested in, characters to care about. The show seems too busy to shove as much politics as he can in it and actually be a good show. The next issue I'd like to talk about is something I touched on earlier. Uh, the characters are very unlikable. Uh, some are very annoying, especially his teen daughter. A lot of uh, being a brat, a lot of whining. Uh, his partner, uh, Aroki, who talks down to Walker very arrogantly and rudely, especially in the first episode, kind of bosses him around, insults him. She calls him an idiot, uh, stupid, and so on in a premiere. Aside from being rude and obnoxious, it's just an unrealistic relationship. Unrealistic for a rookie like her to talk to a higher up, an established legend, Walker Texas Ranger, likes that. No chemistry between them, which brings the show down overall in my opinion, as you can relate to the main characters. The next issue I'd like to talk about is pretty general. The show overall is just bland, doesn't feel like there's anything unique or special about it. Too much drama and too little action, so overall it comes off as pretty boring, which again is a common complaint from a lot of fans, especially in the first couple of episodes we've seen so far. The cast did explain that the show is more about families than being an action cop show, which again I already knew about before the show aired, but I didn't know it would be that boring, that focused on slow paced family drama. I think if you went too far into the drama part that comes off extremely boring and more like a soap opera with cowboy hats. The next issue was Walker, especially the first uh, three episodes that aired so far. The music is just too loud that drowns out the dialogue, again a common complaint among fans. This is a relatively minor issue but a common complaint like I said among fans, even ones who claim to like Walker. Hopefully the crew of Walker can listen to that complaint from all those fans and can actually fix that easily in post-production going forward in the rest of the episodes. Looks like a lot of my fellow SPN fans agree with me about uh, the show quality overall, especially after the first two episodes, so before the third one aired, I made this poll asking people what they thought and less than 60% said the show is good and the rest of them pretty much gave a negative rating. I made a second poll asking whether fans would be watching Walker if Jared was not playing him. Almost 90% said no. That tells you everything you need to know about what people really think of Walker when they're not being blinded by their love of Jared and wanting to support him. In fact, a lot of fans responded saying they're not even watching it now with Jared. That's how bad they find it. Finally, I'd like to address an issue in the ESPN fandom and in fandoms in general. A lot of Jared Padalecki fans attack me and others whenever we voice our criticism of Walker, any criticism, as if we're not fans of Jared as well. It's very toxic, childish, and just plain ridiculous. We can be fans of Jared and Jensen and still be honest about the issues with their shows, and that includes Supernatural by the way, which I've criticized numerous times in the past for various issues I found with it, despite it being my favorite show, obviously. It is okay to be honest and logical as a fan. For those people who are just blindly following, you should try that sometime. Try to be critical of your favorite actors and show, and that takes nothing away from you being a fan of them and your support of them. Really, it's okay, you can do it. I really can't stand this blind following herd mentality of any fandom that praises everything their favorite actor does without facts and logic. We can be supportive fans of our favorite actors while being honest and logical and giving constructive criticism of their work. And at the end of the day, entertainment like anything is subjective, depends on personal preference. So if you really like Walker and choose to see no issues with it, good for you. But stop policing others' opinion of it when it differs from yours. That intolerant, hateful behavior is unacceptable in the fandom or anywhere. And to the aggressive Jared supporters who want to silence all the other fans who just don't find Walker to be a good show. Just mind your own business and let everyone else have their own opinion. You can support someone without liking every single thing they do. It's okay. 
To conclude this video, I'd like to wish Jared the best moving forward, but I won't continue watching or covering Walker anymore on my channel, with some exceptions, like a special episode with Jensen or other interesting news about the show. Other than that, I won't be covering any individual episodes because I won't be watching it anymore. For all the previously detailed issues I mentioned with it. Plus for personal reasons that is just not my type of show to begin with, but that has no bearing on any specific criticism outlined in this video. Best of luck to Jared, but I will just have to wait for his next show or movie. Hopefully it will be the glorious return to Supernatural that he and Jensen constantly give us hints about. The truth is, Supernatural is so great that any modern show will pale in comparison to it. But of course Walker's issues once again has nothing to do with that. Love you Jared and I will always support you but this show is just not for me. So that's it for today's video guys. I am looking forward to Jensen appearing in The Boys Season 3 because that's actually a show I'm interested in. It's my kind of genre. It is made by Eric Kripke, the creator of Supernatural of course. So it's a pretty good show. It's still not Supernatural but it is still one of my favorite shows. So I'm excited for Soldier Boy played by Jensen. I will definitely be covering that. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Until next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.